What's up, mother Last time we did a ball bouncing. Before that, we did how to make your friends ugly. And now we're gonna go back to the basics. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna learn how to track text, you know, like this. Um, we're gonna do, you know, texts that appear while I say them. We're also gonna do obnoxious TikTok bounce, a little like this, you know, like on TikToks. So we're gonna hop into Premiere, ignore this uh, notepad or whatever, you know, software you're using. This should be working with most softwares, you know, DaVinci Resolve, Sony Vegas. So we've got a clip here of Pata dragging me with his lasso. It's funny stuff. But the reason I chose it is because if it decides to stop lagging... Okay, I'm gonna choose a different clip. So I found a different clip. It's a clip of uh, Valorant of me clutching, being epic. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna track the text to this box right here. So we're gonna pull up your text, you know, be clicked on the screen after pressing T for those that are fucking stupid. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Press T, click on the screen. Put your text in, and now we've got a text. The whole principle is to do a little, you know, like the ball, or, yeah, like the ball, is we wanna have the keyframes go forward in time, and then you keep the, the text on that box as you go forward. So the way we're gonna do that here is we're gonna go to the, to the text and we're gonna go to its transform properties and click the position. And as you can see, it highlights the text itself. You don't wanna do the vector motion because now you're highlighting the whole box of text itself and that that's that's me. So we're gonna enable the keyframe here and what you're gonna do, we're gonna make sure you are at the first frame. And uh, what you can do here is, this is what I do. I'm not a professional. Um, I move the anchor point which is cool, but sometimes, let's say I put the anchor point here and I try to rotate, it rotates regarding this anchor point. It's like as if you, this was like a rope. And if you make it bigger it'll and smaller, it'll, you know, you can see how this could be a problem if you have to do adjustments later. But this is how I do it. <laughs> yeah, just make sure that your text is how you want it. Um, and then I make the anchor point, let's say, right on the corner there. So I'm going to go and zoom in, like maybe 200% and make sure it's on the corner. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but this is where we want it. Let's say it's like, this is a box and we're gonna go in time and just move the box towards the corner. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just pressing play and stopping it and then adjusting as I go. You can always do frame by frame by using the, the keys, those keys, you know, doing like this and just adjusting as you go. But I'd like to do a few frames at a time here. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm not expecting really great results because I was going doing a few frames at a time. This is what it looks like so far. As you can see, it's kind of straying away from the tracking, but what we can do here is we're gonna go to the keyframes and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna fill in those in-betweens. As you can see, it's not quite on the corner, so I'm gonna fix that. Go here and in, in-between, fix it. So we're just gonna do that for the rest of the frames. Okay, so I'm done. I had to restart completely because it looked like shit anyways. So I just decided to restart and take less breaks in between uh, playing and pausing and then adjusting. And then I did the same thing, just went through and, uh, you know, filled in the gaps and it's what it looks like. Not bad. Um, it's a little easier on people, in my opinion, when they like they're moving a lot as opposed to such a smooth motion. Yeah, so this is basically the principle of it. You can refine it as much as you want to make it look better. I feel like this is kind of a hard <laughs> clip that I chose here. But it's still, the, the message is the same. Um, on to the next one. We're gonna make stuff appear as I say them. This is my second time recording this um, this tutorial because uh, I always suck the first time. Um, and this is what I recorded earlier as an example of what to put on top. My ass is itchy. So we're gonna add those words as I say them. So we're gonna get our text tool. My ass is itchy. Easy peasy. And there's two ways to do this, and well, the two ways that I do it. And the first one is the easiest, but it can kind of lead to complications if there needs to be modifications and such, like after the fact. But um, as you can see here, we're already anchored. Uh, oh my God. We're already um, aligned to the left. We're gonna keep it that way. So um, I'm gonna go through. So make sure, first of all, that your text is where you want it. You can hold control to make sure it's centered. See those lines. And then we're going to go through and we're going to cut the, the layer as we hear the words. My ass. So as, as he is, I'm about to say ass, I'm going to type, I'm going to click C, cut it. And then going to go ass is itch before is ass is, is itch. And before itchy, we're going to cut it as well. So my ass is itchy. 
we're going to go to the first one and we only need my so we're going to highlight this delete it ass we only need ass is we only need is and an itchy will appear and then now we got my ass is itchy we did it and you can do this with a full paragraph if you want you just need to you know go through and take the time to cut where the words are um, and the second way to do it is we're gonna make our thing centered, align it center here, boom. We're gonna type my ass is itchy. And we're gonna go, instead of use it, just cutting as we go, we're gonna use this uh, this mask. We're gonna use a mask. You can use, do whatever you want, I don't care. But I'm gonna use a square and I'm gonna reduce the feather because we don't want like the text to show like this uh, by accident. We're gonna put it to zero. And we're gonna put it on my because that's the first word. And then we're gonna go to mice pa mask path and enable it. And then once we get to ass, my a right before we get to ass, we're gonna put a new keyframe, go one frame forward with this button that I'm putting on screen right now. We're gonna click, if you see, I hate this software because I'm, I'm clicking the mask launcher, so I'm gonna click feather, click back up. As you can see, it's showing now. We're gonna move and adjust it to ass. So it's gonna be the same concept for the rest of the words. So is you're gonna put a keyframe frame forward adjust the mask is and now you've got my ass is itchy you can always go back and fix some stuff as you see ass comes in a little late here my ass, 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 ass. so i'm gonna go to the keyframe for ass which is the second one here i'm gonna highlight both because that's what creates a transition and then move it a little forward my ass perfect this one is a little more time consuming in my opinion, but, uh, and it can get a bit messy. Let's say you have two, like a bunch of lines of text here. Let's say like I, I keep going, like I have to, if I want to show the bottom here and I only want to show this word, I have to, you know, do this fucking acrobat just to show this one. And then it's, it can be quite a nightmare. Um, but that's editing for you, baby. Now for the next one, you want me to TikTok bouncy annoying uh damage so we're gonna take our, our sample text that i recorded earlier hey guys this is a tip for the new valorant map blah 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 it's TikTok. So we're gonna get our text hey guys so so what you want to do here you've got the text you want to center it make sure that the alignment is centered and then we're going to go to the transform scale and we're going to enable it make it bigger like exaggerated bigger a few frames later we're gonna make it small, like squished, and then and then a few frames later, we're gonna make it go to the size we actually want. Hey guys! So now we got the first. Hey guys! So for the next word, what we're gonna do is really simple. We're just gonna we're gonna copy and paste the text. I've just held Alt and I dragged it. You can uh, copy text like this in Premiere. If not, I can just you know Control C, Control V. But uh, yeah, the, the animation is at the beginning of the layer, so you'll want to just copy that. And so now, hey guys, this is a. So now we've got this. Hey guys, this is a tip for the- You got it. What I do not like about this though, is that let's say uh, something happens in the game or something like this, someone else's text. I'm like, this is a bit too big. I'm like, oh, I want this to be a little smaller. And I'm like, I'll make it smaller right here. Like that, that's perfect, easy. Wrong. Now look what happens. Hey guys, this is a tip. It goes smaller because we added a keyframe at the end there, at the end of our little bounce animation. So what we would have to do in this case is to go to the vector position, you know, the whole square that I keep telling you not to touch, and we're going to touch it. So we just like move the anchor point down here, try to keep it as centered as you can really, and then just scale that down. This is what I usually do if I'm doing a really short TikTok, but if I'm doing a TikTok with a lot, a lot of text, um, I'm, I'd usually create um, a preset. So if you're using a different software, it's recommend just, you know, looking it up, but we're going to use an effect called transform here and we're going to apply it. So we're going to cancel this animation. We're going to keep it around here down at the bottom. So for this one here, I'm just going to do an example with my preset text because that's where I usually have it. So now what I got to do here, I can make sure the anchor point is at the bottom of the text so that when I scale it, it doesn't scale down from that anchor point. I want it to scale from within the text. So I'm going to just lower the anchor point down. I guess I'm making the text higher. I don't know. But as you can see here, this is good. We can mess with the position, put it back to the bottom. And then we're going to go to the scale, make it a bit bigger at the beginning, a few frames down, make it squish, get the, the size we actually want. So now we've got, hey guys, just what you can also add is highlight all these keyframes, right click and do an ease. If you don't, if you don't know how to do this in your software, just look it up. <laughs> hey guys, this is a tip. 
know, there we go. We've got it. Well, then you can just go here and right click and save as a preset. And then when you have it, you can just apply it to your stuff. So let me show you how it works when I do it on my on my preset. So I'm just going to add my text and I have a TikTok bounce preset. Then I just add it to it like that. And now we've got, hey, guys, just, hey, guys. And I can now go down to the, t the scale of the transform and be like, I don't want this text to be this big. I want it to be smaller like this and it'll still, hey guys, apply the bounce to it. So this is, this is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this a simple tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful. Hopefully you can use any of these to, you know, elevate your, your gameplay footage, uh, you know, make some TikToks to, uh, to promote your YouTube and try to grow with that. Whatever. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments if I've missed anything. I'm known to do that <laughs> because I'm dumb. And if you have any suggestions for the next editing class, just put them in the comments. I, I read them. As always, as you guys know, I stream on Twitch. I have a VOD channel where you if you miss those streams, you can go watch. And I've got a clip channel where I put clips sometimes. Feel free to follow those. I'll be in the description. Um, yeah, see ya. <laughs>